Hey everybody, welcome to Fantasy r and I'm your host Ryan and this is an episode of The Sports Bar. This is Fantasy with Rob and Ryan, Fantasy r and Alright, today's episode of The Sports Bar is going to be the classic tuna melt. This is a boring and easy recipe, but I'm going to be honest, it's delicious and perfect for game day lunch. I'm going to start by putting everything up on the screen here. Now, uh, it's important to note that you can use whatever bread, lettuce, and cheese you want. Classically, you want to get down in the nitty gritty about it. Yeah, sourdough and cheddar is usually the way to go. It's what you'd see in a diner. I also want to point out, a classic tuna melt simply means toast the bread, warm and melt the cheese in it. Use cold tuna. You never want to heat the whole sandwich up at once. All the moisture will release from the tuna and the ingredients, and then you'll just get a big soggy sandwich afterwards. I like to use tuna or albacore that's in oil, it just has a better flavor and is more well preserved. Uh, ironically, the stuff that's in water tends to taste more dried out. So just get that mashed up. And we're going to move on to cutting some of our ingredients here. You'll need some fresh celery and we want to mince this. I'm not going to go all Marco Pierre White on you and show you all my uh, cutting techniques or lack thereof to be quite honest. A tablespoon of that and then a tablespoon of red onion. You can also take the red onion after you've chopped it up and throw it in some cold water then dry it off afterwards. It's going to kind of remove some of that like red onion dye that comes out. But it's not totally necessary. Just uh, cut it how you will. You know you can do uh, some dices, mince, whatever you like. Get a tablespoon and set that aside with your other ingredients. Then we're going to move on to the pickle. I like um, the claws and pickles, they seem to taste the best, you usually find them in Target. Not a huge fan of the overly dilled hamburger pickles and stuff like that. These taste real bright, they go great with tuna salad. And some fresh parsley, this really opens up the boldness of the flavor of the tuna. Get all those ingredients together, you're going to need a couple tablespoons of mayo, follow the instructions on the screen, half a tablespoon of spicy brown mustard, eighth of a teaspoon of salt and pepper mix, eighth of a teaspoon of bay seasoning, and eighth of a teaspoon of dill. We're going to throw all of this into our mixture here. Start with the celery, red onion, got our pickle, of course the parsley we chopped up, Dump your seasonings in. Got the salt and the Old Bay here. Salt and pepper and Old Bay. And your dill. Now we want to get your mayo and your mustard in. And that lemon juice we were talking about earlier, that's just going to be to taste. You don't even have to use it, it's optional. Just put a couple of drops in there. Lemon always goes great on seafood. Mix this up real good, get it all mashed together, make it a big clumpy mess, that's the best tuna salad. It needs to look good enough to eat it with a fork and get a bite full of every flavor of every ingredient that's in here. And you're left with that. Now, of course, like I said, just toast your favorite bread. I like to just lay my cheese on the warm bread. It melts pretty quick. Take the lettuce, and you're actually gonna use this as a boat for the tuna salad. So instead of laying the tuna right on the bread, we're gonna lay it on the lettuce, and it's gonna kinda help hold it there in place instead of sliding off the bread. There you go, looks delicious. And I'm a fat person, so we're going to put a ton of it on there. <clears throat> put your sandwich together. Give it the old fancy cut afterwards. As that cheese lays on the bread, it's going to continue to melt down more and more. And that is the nature of a tuna melt. Again, you don't want to heat the whole sandwich up afterwards. Never heat up anything afterwards that has mayonnaise in it. That's your sandwich. Perfect. There you go, beautiful. Great for game day. A little boring, but delicious, and it works. And that was another episode of the Sports Bar. Once again, my name is Ryan with Fantasy r and I will see you next time.